Anybody know whose vision this is? This is Enron. <laughs> Congress, our Congress, who would not be able to agree where to go to lunch, passed a law against what this organization did. And that was their vision. Beautifully worded, it hung on all their offices. It was in all their spaces. We were fortunate enough that when our vision came out, and Rhonda talked about how our vision of measuring success by the way we touch the lives of people, that when we developed that was the same time that Enron dropped, and one of our division presidents said, great vision of Barry Waymiller. How is it any different than this one? The answer is it's not. So what did we do? We decided we need to do something about this. Rather than just hanging it up, rather than just talking for the 20 people who created this vision, rather than just saying this, let's get together in small groups. Let's have a discussion. Not telling people what we think the vision means, but saying, here's what we came up with. Not leadership, not management, not bosses, all of everyone, a cross-section of the organization. Here's what we came up with. What does this mean to you? We talk about trust. And you can see this in your handouts in the first page. We talk about trust. We talk about communication. We talk about a sustainable business model that allows us to treat our people. We talk about uh, paying people fairly and treating them super superbly. What does this mean to you? And as we had these discussions, and we talked about major success by the way we touch the lives of people, we got some pretty interesting responses, as you might imagine, especially when you're in that mode of leadership called listening. So one person said to us, I want to know if you're going to support our union. Another person said, you talk about trust in the document. However, let me tell you my story. I'm a manufacturing person. I go on the manufacturing floor. I build some machines you saw working over here. My colleague is in accounting. She works in the office. It sure seems like there are two different levels of trust because when we walk in to our facility and my colleague goes to the right, she goes to a desk, she makes phone calls, gets a chat at the water cooler, has her day of work. I go on the manufacturing floor, right? Break bells. If I want to get spare parts, that parts cage is locked up. I have to get parts. I have to sign them out. I can't just walk over there. I'm told when I can take a break, when I can take a phone call. I've got a boss that tells me when I can do these things. If you trust me and you trust her, why are we trusted differently? And do you really trust me if those things are happening? 